Hello, dear family, Evolutionary Energy Arts. Hi there. So, guys, we have a message uh, from Laurel, who is a Pleiadian, part of the Galactic uh, Federation. And you know, when we were doing meditation and mantras today, uh, Cindy got that we, Laurel wants to talk to us, give us an update. So we did. We we did. I am. Um, I just what I don't like to do. I have want to make it clear. I never want to scare people. That's my biggest thing. You know, to give people good information that is useful to get through to times in the, in these times. That's that's what I want to do. Well, so then we should probably say something like what uh, Brother Rex over at Leak Project says and say this is just for entertainment purposes. Yes. You know, none of this is real in any way, shape, or form. Yes, purely coincidental. Purely coincidental. It's all, uh, you know, nanu, nanu. It is. It is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Rex is a blast. <laughs> so, yeah. So we, we're going to play for you what we got from Laurel. And specifically, it's talking about, uh, you know, the whole situation that we see ourselves in and uh, what's really going on here. Okay, so here we go. This the next voice you're going to hear is Cindy channeling Laurel. How are you today? Very well. And what uh, would you like to give us as far as a message of the current situation that's going on? extremely disturbed about what has happened in Texas. This was a very deliberate act between world powers. This is not just one government. This is the strength of the entire Illuminati global new world order flexing their muscle. They're trying to pull Texas into even a greater downward spiral in the next coming days and weeks. We wish to tell people that they must find the positive in everything coming through. They're trying to use the negative vibration to have Texas have its own calamity. It's imperative people understand to use the positive force. Anyone listening to this channel must find the silver lining in every situation. We have enough energy to change the results to sway the outcome of anything more destructive that could come through your country. They hit the center, the heart of the country in hopes to pull everyone down. I hope people listen to this message and find hope no matter what their circumstances are. Thank you. You, do you foresee any other situations to develop in any specific areas? are closely watching those in Florida. We feel they have something lined up. We encourage people in Florida to have a way to safely leave Florida if necessary. We're not sure when to anticipate anything as time does not exist, but we hear the chatter of planning and 
domination and destruction. We wish for people to be prepared to leave or have a way to safely stay home. If their plans come to fruition, we do not want to manifest or help them manifest. However, we should all be prepared. This feels like this is simply about compliance and submission. It is very much about compliance and submission. We strongly encourage people to take back their own health, to not need or rely on the system. We understand it's very difficult to not rely on the system. We encourage people to turn to each other in these times for help. We strongly encourage mercy, love, forgiveness toward one another during this time. Is there anything else you want to let us know about what may be potentially in the works as a manner of, again, uh, bringing the masses into compliance and submission? There's nothing further that we can provide for you this time. Well, thank you, Laurel. Namaste. Namaste. Okay, so that was from Laurel. And, you know, again, as, as Rex would say, you know, let's just say that's all just for entertainment purposes. Just for entertainment purposes. Um, yeah, I mean... Because really, I, I don't want to scare people. And I remember listening about Edgar Casey, and when he when he would hear his own recordings, he would like cringe because it was against his belief system. And I I just don't want to scare people, but I really feel a strong um, desire to tell people to be prepared and you know meet things with your heart chakra. Don't meet anger with anger. If somebody is coming at you and they're angry and they're you know disgruntled meet them back with with um definitely not more anger you know just flatten your emotions that person is lashing out and in a sense um you need to absorb so that we don't continue this downward spiral in texas because i see this getting much worse so that's what i'm hearing yeah you know and, and let's keep doing what we were doing and you know as far as sending out prayers positive energy you know as look at these guys with their pups you know when it hits you with a horrible winter storm have a picnic <laughs> you know find a way to use it to bind us together more to to start to develop that unity consciousness because that that's ultimately the end goal and that's where everything is heading is towards that you know this is all about separation as we've said, you know, the whole political system, the left, right, you know, that whole duality, it's it's all about getting you irritated and angry and mad at somebody else. Right, to use that vibration or use that frequency to cause more problems. In a way, you know, it's, it's so much like snowballing and it, it you know, really seems like uh, the Pleiadians are explaining to us how we can use our energy, our collective energy, to sway things more in our favor instead of going down this spiral. Um, you know, because it's almost like they pointed out the path and they're like, okay, go down that path into a spiral. Most people are just going to do it. Most people aren't going to pause and say, hey, if I go down that spiral, I'm feeding into the system. So stop yourself. Yeah, we have to stop that downward spiral most definitely. It, it's 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 uh, understandable 
with what people have gone through, you know, and what they're going to go through. You know, right now, at, at first, it's just about, okay, let's just stop that freezing weather. Okay, then the weather stops and things thaw out. And then it's going to be that realization of, man, everything is all screwed up. You know, the pipes are busted. This is going to cost thousands. Meanwhile, the people are getting uh, $17,000 electric bills from the electric company. How are they going to pay that? They can't pay that, you know. So, again, it's going to be about, well, you know, big brother to the rescue. And, okay, we're, we're going we're gonna to have to do another big bailout. It, it's all about, you know, getting everybody, you know, you can view people as fish in a pond and they just keep throwing different worms to see who they could catch with each worm. Right. That's a very, very good analogy. So watching ourselves, watching our actions and reactions, because ultimately we are responsible for our response when it comes to dealing with stuff. And no doubt people are having a hard time. People are struggling. People are suffering. Um, this is where our heart chakra is. We've been blessed with our heart chakra is opening wider open up your heart chakra, help absorb some of that and have understanding. Yeah, and I could I could sense I was sensing uh, Mother Nature today and sensing spring coming and sensing the winds of positive change that are really out there, but they're just getting overwhelmed. It's like as as, as we start to go down the right road and start to you know, live our true purpose and start to actually shed the negative energies that have been plaguing us, well, then something bigger comes along. And, you know, is that just a coincidence? You know, I, I come on, you know, we, we know better. I mean, we know what's going on. It's all out there. And, you know, it's, it's obviously part of a much bigger, um, if we view this as a a play, you know, or a movie or what have you, we, we kind of know what the plot is. I mean, we've seen this plot. It's it's pretty obvious. Yeah, it, it just seems to be really shocking when it's actually on your doorstep. But we've been preparing for this and planning for this for a very long time. And here it is. It just didn't manifest in the way many people thought it would. But we knew that there was going to be a problem. So there's certain things that, you know, as you know, we cannot discuss, um, but we can uh, point you guys in some directions. Uh, very interesting, you know, the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, if you um, just did a search and search for business wire, business wire, EPA, and, um, mm, you know, Tennessee and Georgia, one uh a lottery I, I don't think many people would want their states to win so if you just even did a little google on that you would see something that might concern you uh, especially again if you're in Ten tennessee or georgia and um as i'm looking at clouds with really interesting patterns makes me think of wavelengths and uh you know again the type of musical instrument angels would play uh going on there there's so much going on you guys remember seeing that article too and i i don't know if there's any connection or not um but there was a big article that was talking about gmo you know those little nasty things that sting you and uh about 750 million of these little things that were going to be released and guess where yeah, the Sunshine State. I don't know if there's a connection there with that or not. Hey, who knows? Um, there's something else, you know, that's part of, like, last yeah, yesterday I, I was looking at different plots of land, you know, and, and I pulled up some, and, uh, you know, in the Sunshine State, and it made Cindy start to cry. I mean, she just started crying because... Uh, she she's you know connecting to possibilities and it's it's not that these are absolute uh things that are gonna come to pass but there's as, as laurel was saying there's chatter yeah. there's vibrations in the ether and we could also just simply look at things logically you know just just look logically look at uh certain colors you know there's certain colors associated with certain states that can be very, very um, 
well, impactful in a geopolitical perspective. If, if I'm, I'm, as, I'm trying to, you know, skirt things as much as possible, but I know a lot of you guys pick up what we're, we're talking about. Right, you know, and hopefully, I, th- I guess, is it okay we can leave this link at least? Yeah, I'll, I'll put the link in there. That's I think really that's, important. I think it's, yeah, super important because, you know, there again, it's all about, well, it's about no yeah. free yeah. will. And, you know, the the letters we're going to look for is when you look at the links is we're looking at the E, P, A. Yeah. Yep. And just look up. Look over your head. Look over your head and see what's coming down. You know, it might not be snow. So, guys, thanks for being part of the family. Make sure you are subscribed. Thank for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon because we couldn't do it without you. You know, as we reach more people, uh, they basically, you know, cut the revenue in half, which which is what we use to, you know, support ourselves and everything. But that's part of this big squeeze that's going on. It's all about the system. So the more we can get out of the system, the better. And, you know, it, it, living frugally putting ourselves in a position where we can self-sustain, grow our own food, etc., strengthen our immune systems, that is key. That is absolutely key right now because you know we are being assailed in many different ways from many different, you know, angles by many different things. If you guys need to make an appointment with us, it's e e a r t s at protonmail or evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail.com. And Cindy's going to give us a ding. God bless and namaste. God bless and namaste.